okay, we are back again. So, next we will see the reflected impedance right of two mutually your uh, coupled coil and uh, after that we will see that numericals. So, in this case your in this case two coils are there dot convention given their mutual inductance is m and this is one load impedance is their ZL. This is the primary coil, this is the secondary coil. Here resistance is R 1, here resistance is R 2, here inductance is L 1 means reactance is J omega L 1, here it is J omega L 2 and mutual inductance is and this is the voltage source. The circuit is closed actually right and current is taken I 1 and I 2. So, in that case if you look into that, that if you when in this coil the current is entering into the dot I 1 current, this is I 1 current because current is moving like this, this is I 1 current. So, here current is entering dot, but in this case the I 2 current, this current actually leaving the dot right. So, this way you have to see first right. So, that means sign will be that mutual uh, you are what to call mutual inductance voltage generator uh, that sign will be negative because current here is entering, here it is leaving. So, based on that, uh, so little bit and this is Z L, impedance Z L is given based on that if you write in the first uh, in uh, your in this uh, in this loop if you write your K V L. So, it will be V is equal to R 1 plus J L omega M, uh, L 1 omega into I 1 minus J omega M I 2. I told you the sign will be minus because current here is entering and it is leaving the way we have taken. This is equation 14 say and here in this loop if you have there is no voltage source here. So, 0 is equal to R 2 plus J omega L 2 plus J del because this is the load impedance is there J del right I 2 minus J omega M I 1. This is due this part due to the your mutual coupling right. This is equation 15. Now, if you solve I mean from here I 2 you are getting from this equation 15 J omega M I 1 upon R 2 plus J omega L 2 J omega L 2 plus J del this is equation 16. So, from equation 14 and your 15 we get V upon R 1 you please solve this one right. I have written directly to save time you please find out what is V upon I 1 you will get R 1 plus J omega L 1 plus the this term you will get omega square m square divided by R 2 plus J omega L 2 plus J del right. This is this was the when mutual was not there. So, this is the your impedance of that coil 1 R 1 plus J omega L 1 right. So, this is actually we call V upon I 1 this total we call the input impedance. So, this is input impedance and this is the impedance of the coil uh, 1 without mutual inductor right. Now, so therefore, Z input is equal to V upon I 1 R 1 plus G omega 1 plus this one. So, look the, the, if we due to the M only when mutual coupling is not there M is equal to 0. So, this term should not be there it will be the only the your what you call the impedance of the coil 1, but due to that your what you call mutual inductance this term is added. So, this is actually reflected impedance of the your coil or your this thing of the circuit that is omega square m square upon this one this is equation 18 right. So, this is simple thing only thing is that this one you solve and find it out I have written the final expression right. Now, next is induced DMA very simple thing suppose you take flux is a sinusoidal one say time varying phi is equal to phi max sin omega t. So, V is equal to n d phi by d t if you, you take the derivative of this one you will get n phi max omega cos omega t right and omega is equal to 2 pi f. So, V is equal to 2 pi f n phi max cos omega t right there and this one and this one this is the maximum voltage. So, divide this one by root 2 this is 2 pi f n phi max divide by root 2. So, it will be now root 2 pi f n phi max this is 4.44 f n phi max this is the RMS voltage a simple thing just uh, just for uh, this thing I have written that phi is equal to flux is phi is equal to phi max sin omega t then how the voltage will be induced and we know v is equal to n n d phi by d t in coil you have n number of turns and phi is the flux linkage. So, this is the your RMS value of the voltage 4.44 f n phi max right because this term is divided by root 2. So, it will be reviewed 2 by root 2 will be root 2 right. Next we will take the numerical, numerical sir is the only thing is the calculation should be correct. For example, this example 1 is taken right uh, just uh, just hold on let me reduce the zoom little bit right. So, this is that your this is the problem. So, in that case 
first you see the problem it is actually what is given that uh, you are th um, uh, you have to find this uh, this is one you are what to call this um, uh, this is uh, coil uh, coil is on on this uh, on this part of this material right and number of turns n1 is 500 and here also n2 is n2 is equal to 1000 turns right and you have to you have to consider the your mean path all the diamond mu are for this one is given for this material is 1600 right it is given and you have to find out l1 l2 m1 to m2 1 each coil is excited with 1 ampere current i mean each coil is excited with 1 ampere current we will only consider first this one and how to take the mean length how to take the dimension is given this height from here to here it is given 4 centimeter from this point to this point it is given 6 centimeter and here the thickness is 1 centimeter so from mean path we take so this is actually 0.5 centimeter this side also 0.5 centimeter this also it is given from here to here 3 centimeter from here to here it is 6 centimeter it is given right and side is actually your what you call sides are 3 into 3 centimeter each so your right sides are 3 centimeter each so and this th not 3 2 centimeter each right it is 2 centimeter this is 2 centimeter right so mean path will be this side if you take from here it will be here to here it is 1 centimeter see carefully here huh? everything is marked and here also this is the 2 centimeter so this mean path will take so from here to here this gap is 1 centimeter right and here also 1 centimeter so we have to find out you have to what you call we have a, or a th the, the three different path right three different path and this is from here is one from here to here another is here this limb and another is this limb right so there are three paths right and say both we say either of this uh, or what to coil, coil is excited by one ampere current first we consider only i1 is equal to one ampere forget about this one the turn share is 500 and turn share is your uh, thousand turns independently we will see how things are and here the here this uh, your thickness of this is 1 centimeter so that is why from here to here the mean path it is marked 0.5 centimeter right so everything is marked let me clear it if you look at the diagram everything is marked for you just see carefully how we have done it right so you have to find out so you have to find out this is figure 18 L1, L2, M1 to M21, each coil is excited with 1 ampere current. First, we will see that coil 1 is excited with 1 ampere current, right. So, now if you see that your what you call that we know the reluctance is equal to L upon mu, that we know that is L upon mu 0 mu r ampere turns over. Mu r is given 1600 for this uh, for this material, same material this 1600, right. And we know phi is equal to Fm by r, like your. V by R, I we find out similarly phi is equal to F m by R over. Now, we have to there are three li, three, three different path. So, L 1 if you see that this is actually mean path, this is actually 6, uh, this is 6 right and this side is 1 and this side is 1, this similarly this, this side and this side identical right, this side and this side identical and this side 4 plus 1 and your 4 plus your what you call from here to here it is 1, here to here 1 right, this side it is there your for your what you call uh, this uh, this from here to here it is 6 and here it is 1 here it is 1 right. So, 6 plus 2 uh, into your 2. So, if you look into this if you look into this this sorry L 1 is equal to 6 plus 1 plus 0.5 into 2 or uh, this side is actually uh, this is 6 this side is 1 this side actually it is 0.5 this gap is actually 0.5. So, and same same is the other side also it is 6 plus 1 plus 0.5 into 2 not 1, 1 is total here it is 0.5 the mean path right. So, plus just just see this. So, this is actually your into 2 plus 4 plus 2 I mean this this side this side this side it is 4 and this side is your what you call this side it is this is 1 and this is also 1. So, 4 plus 2 so this side actually 4 plus 2. So, this is actually 4 plus 2 is equal to 21 centimeter that is 0.21 meter. Similarly, if you if you come for L 2 it is given 3 plus 1 plus 0.5 into 2 4 plus 2 that is here it is 3 this side is 1 look at that I am marking by pointer rather than pen 3 plus 1 this side is 0.5. So, 3 plus 1 plus 0.5 this side also 3 plus 1 by 0.5 so multiplied by 2 right 
then e then plus 4 this side is 1 because here it is marked 1. So, this side is 1 this side is 1 I mean I mean here it is written 1. So, same is here here also here also it is your what you call 1 centimeter. So, this side also 1 centimeter. So, 4 plus 1 plus 1 right. So, uniform it is uniform. So, so here it is your L 2 is equal to then it is 15 centimeter 0.15 meter. Now, L 3 is the middle center limb right L 3 is 4 plus 2 this side is 1 this side is 1 this is the height right and this R 1 this R 1 R 2 R 3 R 1 here R 2 here this is the your reluctance of the 3 different portion right. So, now L 3 is equal to just 4 plus 2 6 centimeter 0 0.06 meter and A is equal to sides 2 centimeter each. So, 2 into T 4 2 into 2 4 centimeter square that is 4 into 10 to the minus 4 meter square. Therefore, reluctance for path 1 R 1 is equal to L 1 upon A mu 0 mu R mu R is given right and A is also known. So, you substitute you will get this is the value of R 1 26000 uh, not 26000 it is your what you call 2 lakh 61113.5785 ampere transfer over right. Similarly, for R 2 if you calculate reluctance for path 2 this is for path 1 that means this path right that reluctance of this path. 1 is for this path it is marked as like this it is it is this is for this path you are getting reluctance of this this is another reluctance this is another reluctance this is for R 1 this is R 2 and this is R 3 three different path right central limb and other two sides. So, here similarly for R 2 you calculate L 2 upon A mu 0 mu R all our computers substitute you will get 186509.7 ampere transfer waiver. Similarly, for alt R 3 you will get you will get 149207.76 ampere transfer waiver. And we know that MMA for, for that coil 1 is excited by 1 ampere current and its trans is 500 we are not considering coil I 2 right just 1. So, F m 1 is equal to 500 ampere turns. Now, if you look into that that this is your circuit like a DC circuit for example, that this is the direction of the flux, this is your direction of the flux because you wrap you grab the coil in the direction of the current, then thumb is the direction of the flux. So, this is the direction of the flux, right. Say so, total flux if it is phi 1, right, phi part is going here and part is going like your DC circuit, and this is your flux is flowing, right, the current flows. And, di and as the direction of the flux is this way, that means this will be plus and this will be minus, and that will be your FM, this way you do. That is, you, I mean, you see the direction of the flux, and from plus uh, your current actually coming out. The uh, so flux is coming out. This way you take this analogous analogy to electric circuit, right? So if you if it is so, then you look at the circuit. Look at the things are very simple once you have calculated. Look at that. This is phi one. This is phi two, and this is the phi three. That, that this is the flux, and this flux is divided into two. This these two are parallel path, right? So, and this is your MMF that uh, this is plus minus sign I told you how you take you grab the you grasp the conductor in the direction of the current the thumb will be the direction of the flux. So, accordingly you can choose the polarity this is your this is your this is your polarity this is plus minus this, this way you take right and same as resistance same as resistance you simply calculate the series parallel this thing. So, it is reluctance will be equivalent to R 1 plus R, these two are in parallel R 2 into R 3 by R 2 plus R 3 with that you will get the reluctance of the complete uh, your what you call complete circuit right the ampere transfer waiver. Therefore, phi 1 that is the current I 1 you will get F m 1 by reluctance. So, phi this F m, F m is equal to your 500 ampere turns that we have calculated here it is 500 ampere turns. So, divided by this figure that is getting 1.453 milli waiver this is your phi 1 right. Now, the, the way we do the current division same way that phi 2 actually phi 2 1 right phi 2 is equal to this one it is phi 2 1 is equal to you can write that phi 1 this is the total flux into R 3 divided by R 3 plus R 2 the current division value of them here also flux division. So, it will be 0 0.646 milli over very simple it is only you have to understand little bit right nothing is there looking at the diagram circuit nothing is there just see the direction of the flux see the ampere turns and calculate all the reluctances value dimensions correctly right and then you will get your what you call the correct answer right nothing is there actually right. So, this is your what you call phi 2 1. Now, we know 
that earlier I told you know this relation is required that L i is equal to n phi. So, same relation we are using L 1 is equal to n 1 phi 1 upon i 1. So, n 1 is 500 right phi 1 we got 1.453 milli over and current i 1 is actually this one in the diagram it is showing i 1 small i 1 it is actually 1 ampere not capital i 1 so correction right. So, it will be 0 0.7265 Henry that is L 1 and m 2 1 is equal to your n 2 into phi 2 1 that is equal to actually phi 2 because in the other coil there is no current i 2 is equal to 0 right. So, we are, we are trying to find out m 2 1 divided by i 1 it will be small i 1 it is actually 1 ampere right. So, n 2 is 1000 ampere in the second coil and phi 2 1 is 0 0.646 your milli over divided by 1 ampere. So, it is milli Henry. So, 0 0.646 milli Henry. So, very simple it is right. So, similarly you should compute this one L 2 M 1 2 by exciting coil to I 2 is equal to 1 ampere and take I 1 is equal to 0. This you please do it of your own right. Answers are not given. Example 2 when both the coils are excited by 1 ampere current determine phi 3 right. So, question is that the both the coils are excited in that case look here is plus minus here here it is actually if you look into that here it is plus minus, but here it is plus minus and 1 ampere current both the coils are excited. So, this is 5 ampere turn this is 1000 into 1. So, 1000 ampere turn this is R 1 R 2 R 3 this way you have to compute phi 1 phi 2 phi 3. Now, look at this one this is plus this is minus right like you please come to that uh, diagram. When both the coils are excited when the both the coils are excited right in that case look this is the direction of the current this is the current right by right hand you grab the conductor in the direction of your what you call in the direction of the current I 2 in the in here right you grab it like this. So, thumb is moving downwards I mean this is the flux line. So, this is your flux your phi 2 right. So, as, as it is downward means this is plus and this is minus as if the way current comes out from the positive terminal here also the flux direction that is why this is plus this is minus that is why in the direct and that is why in the diagram that is why in this diagram you are taken this one everything I have given to you. So, these are the answer phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 this one the answer you please uh, all the reluctance everything computed. So, please solve it for yourself answers are given for this one right. Now, example 3 this is also one uh, here is one uh, one limb is there this is 17 centimeters right this is 2 millimeter this gap is 2 millimeter and the one coil is there it is worn like this the both the coil this side 1000 ton this side is 1000 ton here it is from here to here the length is given 10 centimeter. So, you have to your what you call you have to see the mean length. So, this is this is from here to here 20 centimeter and this 3 centimeter side if 3 centimeter side means that is that means 3 centimeter side means this mean length that means this is actually this uh, this portion actually 1.5 this is also 1.5. So, 10 minus 1.5 so 8.5 this is the mid length that is mean height right 8.5 and this is 20, but 3 your what you call it is your 3 centimeter side it is written here 3 centimeter side with this side 1.5 and this side also 1.5 that means mean length will be this this side from here to here 20 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 that is equal to 17 centimeter right and this is already mean length is given everything is computed gap is 2 right and this is your what you call we are uh, your what you call we have to find out flux and other things. So, if you if you look into this and look into this that your uh, there are three paths what is L B then your L C and this is L A this is look at the pointer this is L A the gap is your L C and here it is this path is L B right it is marked B it is A and this gap here it is marked C look at the pointer right. Therefore, mu R A is given 1000 for your uh, for this material and mu R B is 1200 for this this material right. So, A is equal to 3 centimeter side. So, it is 9 into 10 to the minus 4 meter square right L A is equal to 17 meter centimeter that is 0.17 meter L B is equal to your this is I told you this 17 plus 8.5 plus this side also 8.5. So, 
So, 17 plus 8.5 plus 8.5 centimeter is equal to 0 0.34 meter. So, reluctance formula L A upon A mu 0 mu R A. So, you will get this value. Similarly, R B is equal to L B upon A mu 0 mu R B substitute all the values uh, mu 0 you know 4 pi into the power minus 7 you substitute all you will get this value and R C will be will get 2 L C upon A mu 0 right yeah, that is your what you will get that is your whatever it comes that it is 2 millimeter. So, 0 0.002 meter divided by this one right. So, is equal to you will get your this thing. So, why R C is equal to 2 is taken this side one gap this side also one gap that is why it is multiplied by 2 into right this is 2 millimeter gap here also 2 millimeter gap. So, that is why 2 into L C. So, it is your what you call this much value is coming. So, total MMF will be coils excited by 1000 uh, 1 ampere current. So, this side you are what you call 1000 ton this is 1000 ton and excited by 1 ampere current right. So, in this case it is your 2000 ampere tons. So, phi is equal to MMF by reluctance total reluctance we got this one. So, phi is equal to MMF by reluctance is equal to this much of OA bar and flux density B is equal to phi by A. So, this is phi cross sectional area is 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So, this is 0.564 OA bar per meter square right. Hope you have understood this right. Uh, there is absolutely no problem. Take some problem from the same book and please do it yourself some problem. Take some good book and see that you are solving it. Similarly, this one I will not tell you anything this I leave it to you a circuit is shown right that uh, your uh, that is quite here here uh, you have n number of turns uh, n 1 number of turns n 2 number of turns mutual dot nothing is shown something you put I have made it something and all these equal two equations I have written right. So, you check whether it is correct or not this is everything is correct, but you check this is given to you right look at that. Uh, sometimes you should not be confused looking is such, such kind of electrical such kind of circuit see carefully how this is connected and accordingly you will do it. Now, example 5 there this problem I have taken from one book. Uh, so, this uh, uh, this problem I, I, I mean you have to see how things are right. So, all these things uh, actually this um, your direction of the current was not marked in the book this I have made it. And this uh, this is 5 ohm and your self area reactance uh, here reactance is also 5 ohm and here also 5 ohm here also reactance 5 ohm mutual uh, reactance is uh, j 2 ohm it is given and here voltage is given 10 angle 0 degree here it is given 10 angle 90 degree volt probably probability is marked one capacitor is there capacitive reactance is minus j 10 ohm j 10 ohm you have to find out voltage across the capacitor that is v c is how much that you suppose we have to compute. And this way I have taken that uh, loops or uh, this thing the way I have taken this is one is I 1 and this is one is like taken I 2 right. So, if you take like this then I 1 plus I 2 flowing through this right because we have taken like this. So, if you now this is uh, this is actually what what uh, dots and other things not mentioned. So, here dot convention is taken right. So, current is entering here here is dot is taken right. And in in this case your what you call another dot is taken here another dot is taken here right. So, current is your what you call leaving and here it is taken that current is entering these two dots we have taken. So, this dot thing is taken right. So, this way I mean uh, this that means I 1 plus I 2 current entering into the dot and this I 2 current actually it is your this this is the current I 2 we have taken like this. So, this is actually I 2 this will take like this right suppose it is leaving the dot. So, if it is so if it is so then look at the flux direction. Now, in the direction of the flux for this winding for this winding I 1 plus I 2 entering. So, if you direction of the flux then if you grab it the it is it is actually going like this this is phi 1 and in this case now in in this case what is happening that current is leaving the dot right as the current is leaving the dot then in the direction of the current if I wrap it the way on the left hand side right hand side if I, if I wrap or grab the coil like this the direction of flux is upward that is why phi 2 is upward. So, phi 1 this way and phi 2 is this way that means they are opposing each other is not it. That means your when you write the equation it is entering the dot it is leaving the dot the, that mutual thing will be negative sign right. So, if you write the equation look uh, it takes time takes time. So, this is the equivalent circuit right this 10 volt this thing 
phi ohm j phi ohm this mutual inductance between this one is entering the dot in the coil another is leaving the dot and this is phi ohm. Now, you can solve it by putting uh, this thing uh, because two coils are there right. So, repetition will be there is not it. So, but question is put the put the KVL in the first equation it will be phi plus j phi into i 1 plus i 2 because here this 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 is the this is that your i 2 and this is the i 1. So, current flowing through this actually look at the pointer it is i 1 plus i 2. So, phi plus j phi into i 1 plus i 2. Now, minus your mutual will come later minus this is j 10 reactance into your your i 1 because current in the in the in this loop. So, this is minus j 10 minus j 10 into i 1 right. Then that current uh, your what you call will entering the dot and i 1 plus i 2 entering the dot i 2 leaving the dot. So, it will be for this loop it will be minus j 2 into your i 2 right because in this coil voltage induced due to i 2 it will be minus j 2 into i 2 that is 10 angle 0 right. So, this is uh, this this is the voltage tenor this is one equation. Similarly, for your second one when you apply your what you call now now this 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 is the second uh, your what you call this is the second loop I mean we are covering like this. So, in that case both the coils is this current I your I 1 I plus I 2 flowing through this and I 2 is flowing through this. So, look how things are it will be 5 plus j 5 I 1 plus I 2 right then here if you come it will be 5 plus j phi i 2 right this voltage will come later. Now, let us consider the mutual inductance. Now, it will be this coil in this coil voltage will be induced due to i 1 plus i 2, but it is entering into the dot leaving the dot. So, minus sign. So, minus j 2 mutual m a your reactance is j 2 minus j 2 into i 1 plus i 2. Now, next is due as voltage induced where what you call in this coil due to the current here i 2 will be minus j 2 look at the arrow here it is upward I have made it your what you call minus j 2 into i 2 right here 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 it is minus then minus j 2 into i 2 then plus 10 90 degree angle 90 degree minus 10 angle 0 degree. So, this is equation to this is equation on you solve for i 1 and i 2 right I hope you have understood this right I hope you have understood this. Uh, I mean if you are understood why if you have understand uh, this uh, understood this problem then absolutely there is no problem for solving any other problem on magnetic circuit right just you have to see the dot convention. So, so in this case so if you solve for equation 1 and 2 you will get I 1 is equal to 1.015 angle 113.96 degree ampere look whole solutions I have, but here I did not put it it will consume more time this is an exercise for you please do it right it will take some time it will do it right. And then V c will be this is the current uh, this current I 1 is I 1 is flowing uh, through this this is the current I 1 is flowing through this V c will be this your uh, your I 1 into minus j 10 right that is what is written here this is I 1 into minus j 10. So, it is I 1 is 113.96 degree and minus j 10 means it is your uh, 1.015 113.96 into 10 angle minus 90 degree. So, minus 90 plus 113.96. So, it will be your 10.15 angle 23.96 degree volt right this is uh, this is the answer. Now, this one when 3 dots are there 3 dots let me tell you one thing for the exam purpose 3 dots are little bit heavy because of time uh, time consumption right. So, question is that, but this th when 3 dots are there this all these equations I have written right you please write it I am not explaining now all are correct it will save my time. So, see how I at least you will learn that how I have written this all mutual things are given their cyclic current is given the way I have taken right and just see this all these equations I have written for you just see the circuit draw the circuit first then you see the equations how I have written right and see all these things all these things written everything is actually correct. So, please write yourself first then you see this then you see what has been written then some time will be saved right. And, and in the frequency domain I told you earlier d by d t you replace by j omega right. If you do so your equation will be like this right all these equations will be like this and your equi and ultimately equi your equivalent circuit will be like this right. So, this one you please make it of your own right you write down all these equations of your own first you draw the circuit then you write down all this uh, your 
uh, you pause it huh, and then draw the circuit then all these equations you write one by one right and then you frequency domain you d d t you replace by j omega and then you will uh, your what you call then you see this one equivalent one this is, is an exercise for you all everything is given in front of you right next is this is another problem this is this problem is very interesting problem two couple coils with respective self inductances l1 is 0 0.05 hd and l2 is equal to 0 0.2 hd right have a coupling coefficient k is equal to 0.5 coil 2 has 1000 turns if the current in coil 1 is i1 is given 5 sin 400 t that is omega is equal to 400 right ampere determine the voltage at coil 2 and the maximum flux set up by coil 1. So, solution we know that k is equal to m by root over l 1 l 2 right that is a or m by root over l 1 l 2 k. So, m is equal to k into root over l 1 l 2. So, k is given 0.5 and your l 1 l 2 given root over 0 0.05 into point root over uh, into point 2. So, m will become mutual inductance will become 0 0.05 handy. Now, voltage of coil 2 is given by we know that v in coil to m into d i 1 upon d t. So, m is 0 0.05 and i 1 is given 5 sin 400 t. So, if you take the derivative v 2 will become 100 cosine 400 t right. So, that means, also v 2 we know is equal to n 2 d phi 1 2 upon d t that we know, but we have got it v 2 is equal to 1000 cos 400 your t right. So, now in this case v 2 you substitute here n 2 is known and you have to integrate. So, 100 cos 400 t n 2 is 1000 turns it is given d phi 1 2 upon d t or phi 1 2 is equal to your divided by your, your what you call 1000. So, 10 to the power minus 3 into 100 cos 400 t d t if you integrate this phi 1 2 will be 0 0.25 into 10 to the minus 3 sin 400 t over right. So, that means phi max will be 0 0.25 into 10 to the minus 3 over this is the phi max 0 0.25 milli over right. So, is it, uh, that means k is equal to we know that phi 1 to upon phi 1, phi 1 is the total flux and phi 1 to is the flux linking the other coil. So, k actually is equal to phi 1 to upon phi 1 or is equal to phi 2 upon phi 2 that is phi 2 the total flux and your flux 1 your phi 2 1 is the link your in coil 1 that phi 2 1 is the flux linkage. So, either you can write k is equal to phi 1 2 upon phi 1 or phi 2 upon phi 2 this is also coupling coefficient this you should know this right. We have seen earlier in the diagram right phi 1 is equal to phi 1 1 plus phi 1 2 right that means k is equal to phi 1 2 upon phi 1 or vice versa or you can put that same philosophy or you can put phi 1 max is equal to phi 1 to max upon k from here you can from this equation you can write phi 1 is equal to phi 1 2 upon k or you can write phi 1 max is equal to phi 1 to max upon k same thing you will get 0 0.25 by 0 0.5 your milli over so k is equal to 0 0.5 therefore phi 1 max is equal to 0.5 milli over right so this problem is interesting problem and very simple problem so now this one determine the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor for the dots given in the diagram then reverse the polarity in one coil and repeat. So, this is the problem is given this is the problem is given that your j is equal k is equal to coupling coefficient 0 0.88 j is equal to given everything is given right. So, this whole solution is there whole solution is there I am not telling all these things. So, it has you have been asked to find out the voltage across the 5 ohm resistance right. So, all this your XL 1 5 ohm XL 2 5 ohm that k is equal to computed m by root over L 1 L 2 right everything is given right. So, a omega m then k up to up to this thing I am showing you this is computed right rest is you please solve it right I suggest you please solve it dot convention is given the current is entering the dot leaving the dot that means, when you write that your what you call the similar problem also showed you earlier right similar problem. So, when you talking when, when you are considering for i second uh, your this loop bigger one when you are considering the whole one at that time you see the repetition will be there for the mutual induced induced mutual voltage right. So, you please solve it answers I am not telling you solve it when you read this video lecture you solve it 
and you are what you call and at that time you ask the answer whether you have got the correct answer or not, we will uh, I will give you the correct answer, but put everything in the forum. So, now magnetic circuit is over. Now, my question is that when you will come up to this listening that the DC circuit, single phase AC circuit, three phase AC circuit, resonance, maximum power transfer theorem and magnetic circuit, uh, my, my suggestion is that you take uh, not too many books, no need to pick up too many books, you take one or two good books, they solve few examples and practice little bit more, right, practice little bit more and just see whether you are uh, you have been able to solve it or not. If you have any doubt or anything, you ask in the forum, we will answer it, you will clear your doubt and we and we will answer your what you call all your all your queries, right. Whatever question comes to your mind, you put in the forum, we will answer all your queries. With that, your this magnetic circuit is over, next we will take the single phase transformer. You the magnetic circuit is over, you will find single phase transformer is very easy. You will really find it is very easy, not at all difficult one. With that, thank you very much, we will be back again.